All right, a repair video. Um, and this is my own thing that I need to repair. Um, so in here I have this monstrosity that I built many years ago. And uh, it is a DIY uh, night scope. Um, it has a military tube in it. Um, I think these went in military binoculars if I'm, I don't know. Anyway, it is a military tube and uh, I put a camera lens on the front of it and an eyepiece on the back of it and turned it into a night scope. It needs three volts to power up and that's all it needs just to get the uh, photocathode or whatever that thing is in there working. Um, so uh, I took it out the other day, a friend of mine wanted to see it and uh, the uh, batteries had leaked in it and it just killed the battery contact and everything. Uh, this one's just munched and then this one was totally rotted out. I, I ended up putting a little screw in here just getting it working and everything but I, I needed to fix it up because it's a nice thing and I, I want to put it back in service again. So these uh, old battery holders are hard to find now. Uh, they were everywhere back in the 60s <laughs> but um, uh, nothing but plastic ones these days and I hate the plastic ones. So these, these are these nice uh, aluminum ones and uh, I, I found them. Uh, so I bought three of them. Um, yeah, these are made by the Keystone Company, Keystone Electronics in New York. And this is a number 140. And it's an exact replacement for what I used there. All right, so I went ahead and bought three of them because I figured they won't be made very long. <laughs> Everybody's using the plastic ones, but it's, it's a, it's a two, two cell double A. These are shorter together, so it puts, in, puts out three volts all together. Um, so let's uh, let's see if we can't take this thing apart. I think what's necessary is just to take this one. You like my construction technique of uh, wire? I mean, the hose clamps. Yeah, I'll take the hose clamp off here. All right. Let me, uh, let me get a socket. Socket's better for these for these things. Uh, let's see. Oh, first gas. Very good. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I had it first try. Second try. All right, second try. All right, I want to break the wires here. So let's take this off. There we go. So this is just a piece of pipe with a split in it so I can put it together. Uh, red and black, that's all we need. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see, it's all, already, oops, you can't see that, can you? Yeah, you can. Uh, it's already uh, it's already coming apart. So that one just that one just fell off. Oh, and this one's oh yeah, that's the that's this one here. It just fell off. So anyway, let me uh, rearrange things here a bit. All right, let's uh, let's disassemble this a little further. Does that fit on there? Oh, it does. Look at that. All right. So I had to make my own little battery contact here. Took a screw and put it on the wheel and <laughs> made, it, made it flat and skinny. So I save those things. All right, what do we got here? All right, let's, uh, let's desolder this if it will. All right, that's gone. Let's desolder this. And this. Ah. Oh, give it a pull. There we go. All 
right. So this one is toast. Brand new. Nice. So we will go ahead and put it back on. Oh, it's upside down. I got it upside down. I want these two to look nice together. So we will do it this way. Good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. And then let's uh, figure out where negative and positive go. Positive, positive. This is the positive. This is the negative here. Military wire, man, that's hard to strip. All right, now the tricky part, which is this. Um, why did I make it so complicated? Why didn't I just slide that on like that? Hmm. All right, I'm going to improve it. <laughs> Definitely improve it. thing is roly-poly here and it's not cooperating. Let me put it in the vise here. All right, let's see here. Let's put this guy on like, like a so. Oh yeah, I like that. So this would be my little on-off switch. Go down to turn on. It is kind of wiggly around. It's kind of wiggly. I think I'll maybe put some hot melt on that when I'm done to make it not so wiggly. Let's go ahead and twist these together to make it look look like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. There we go. All right, done. We are done. Let's uh, put batteries in it and see if it uh, see if it does something. Oops. Go this away. Is it 
off, turn it off. Batteries in. All right, let me turn it on, and do I get a green glow? I do, I get a green glow, so there you go. I um, wonder if I could photograph this somehow. Maybe put my camera up against the eyepiece there, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, this is a bit wobbly here. I think maybe some epoxy or hot melt or something would be uh, good to kind of stabilize that. Not that it ever was before. It was much worse than this before. I just push it like that and it was it was fine. Maybe I'll just leave it alone. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, that's going to work out just fine. So I put a zoom lens on it from an old uh, TV camera, TV zoom lens, one point f one point six, twelve point five to seventy five millimeters. So a nice zoom. So uh, that's nice to have on a on a scope. Uh, this is focus, so uh, it's still... Oh, no, this is zoom. I'm sorry, this is the focus. This is the zoom, 1.25 to 75. And then this is the shutter, so you can close it or you can open it up to 1.6. So, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, short, short video for today, just a quick repair of my old uh, night vision scope, and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun.